Hey, it's Nurse C of Blessed RN, and I'm here to show you how to have a better experience with memorizing metric conversions. Okay, so if we start off with the grams, the micrograms, the milligrams, and the kilograms, these are the ones that you're going to use the most in the problems that you see. So the one is going to be the base unit. So they eat either a gram, a meter, a liter, or a unit. So one is the base unit. If you break that down, you'll get a thousand smaller pieces, which is the milligram, okay? And if you get one milligram and break it down into a thousand smaller pieces, it's a microgram. If you come back to the base unit, which is one, and you have a thousand of the base units, you get one kilogram. So all of them are separated by the factor of 1,000. Next, we'll have the household measurements. And those are your teaspoons, your tablespoons, and your ounces. So one teaspoon is 5 ml, one tablespoon is 15 ml, one ounce is 30 ml. So 5, 15, 30. You can count down 3, 2, 1. All right, so now we'll continue with other household measurements like your cups and your pints, your quarts and your gallons. So the first one is the cup. One cup equals eight ounces, or if you can commit it to memory, that's also 240 milliliters. And then two cups is one pint, two pints is one quart, and then four quarts is a gallon, one, two, two, four. So that's an easier way to memorize um, your household cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Okay, next up are your weight units. So you will usually be going from kilograms to pounds. So one kg is 2.2 pounds. That's the golden conversion right there. You must know that. And then one pound is 16 ounces. You will use those in your pediatric problems to convert your ounces to pounds, and then your pounds to kilograms. So length or distance. So these are your meters and your inches and your feet. So one foot equals 12 inches. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. There you go. That's all you need. And then we will have the grains. Grains are a little tricky for some people, but I like to mm, relate it to a clock, if you will. So I will draw my circle as perfectly as I can. Yeah, it's far from perfect, but hey, use your imagination. So you have the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. And of course, our little middle piece right here. So if we start at the 3, that's a quarter after, right? So one fourth grain is going to be 15 milligrams. If we go to the six, which is half after, that's going to be half a grain is 30 milligrams. Go to nine, that's three quarters after, right? So that's going to be 45 milligrams. And back at the 12, 60 milligrams equals one grain. So I hope this helps. For more doses calc tips and tricks as easy as cookies and puzzle pieces, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. And as always, be blessed.